Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about a knowledge management tool that I found recently and really, really like. It's called Sublime. It's very relaxing, calming app to use on its own, but becomes such a useful tool when combined with a writing tool. So Sublime is like a digital scrapbook for all those amazing quotes from books, snippets from articles and uh, visuals that spark your creativity. It is like if Pinterest and my mind had a baby, but with a cleaner interface and smarter organization. So you can save quotes and uh, highlights like on my mind, but also discover great ideas and inspiration that other people find, um, similar to how Pinterest works. For every quote, passage or image you save, Sublime shows you countless related ideas, not just from your own collection, but from an entire community of curious minds. Anyway, let me just show you what it can do. So there have been lots of apps that are great at keeping your reading highlights and ideas, but never ones that are also great at helping you discover new ones at the same time. Well, Sublime is like that. There are many ways you can use it, but the browser extension is probably what you use most often. The saving experience is super smooth. You can save pretty much anything that inspires you. Um, quotes, interesting paragraphs from articles, images that catch your eye, or even entire web pages. Everything gets stored in your library. And you can also add notes to help organize everything. Personally, I absolutely love the sound it makes when you save something. It's so satisfying and almost addictive. It makes me want to use it just to hear the sound. Anyway, there are hundreds of apps that let you save highlights and pictures, but what really sets Sublime apart is how it uses your saved content to help you discover more ideas. The app uses AI to analyze what you save and then recommend related content from other users. For example, when I save a quote from a, a book I was reading, Sublime showed me other quotes from the same book that people found meaningful, as well as similar books I might enjoy. This creates this wonderful or serendipity effect where you're constantly discovering new ideas and uh, inspiration. And it works even outside the app. One particularly powerful use case is what they call vibe writing. When you're working in Google Docs or any writing app of your choice, you can highlight any sentence, hit Command R or Control R, and Sublime will instantly show you curated related ideas that other people found fascinating. Um, or sometimes I just vaguely write things I want to say, highlight it and try to find ideas I might be able to use. I often find this more useful than Google search or Publixity because it understands the essence of what I'm trying to express. Um, even when I don't have the, the exact right words, it kind of connects you with ideas you couldn't have found through traditional search. You can also create collections to organize your saved items by theme or project. I have collections for writing ideas, um, photography inspiration, and quotes I want to remember. Uh, the search functionality is excellent as well. You can quickly find anything in your library using natural language. Speaking of organization, one of the best tools to transform your chaotic email inbox is Samebox, the sponsor of today's video. We all know how stressful it is to have an overflowing inbox, having to waste time sorting through spam and uh, unimportant messages. The average person spends over 12 hours monthly just managing emails. That's why I turned to Samebox, which has honestly cut my email management time in half. Their AI-powered filtering system instantly sorts your inbox by importance. So critical emails stay visible, while less urgent messages are moved to a separate same later folder. The best part is it works seamlessly with any email service, including Gmail and Outlook. No need to change your email address or current workflow. Also, my favorite feature is the same black hole. Simply drag any unwanted emails here and the sender is permanently blocked, eliminating distractions for good. I cannot recommend this enough because it's such a great way to keep your inbox clean. There are smarter reminder tools and uh, email snooze options also ensure you never miss important follow-ups without a constant inbox anxiety. So if you want to try Samebox, go to samebox.com slash Xiaomi for a 14 days free trial with no credit card required. All right, now let's get back to Sublime. Another thing I like about Sublime is its integrations with other apps. There is the uh, Readwise integration. If you use Kindle, Pocket, Instapaper, or other reading apps, you can automatically import all your highlights and annotations directly into Sublime through Readwise. That means all those passages you highlighted while reading now become part of your inspiration library without any extra effort. 
Um, I really like this because it creates this seamless flow where everything I find interesting across all my reading platforms ends up in one searchable place. Also, the uh, Raycast integration is another one I use. If you're not familiar with Raycast, it's a, a productivity tool that gives you quick access to apps and uh, actions through keyboard shortcuts. With the Sublime extension, I can instantly search my entire Sublime library without even opening the app. Um, for example, if I'm writing an article and I need to reference a quote I saved months ago, I can just trigger a Raycast, search my Sublime library, and copy what I need, all in seconds. It's very convenient and saves me a lot of time when I'm working on projects. But I think my most favorite feature is the canvas. While most collection apps just let you save items into a folders or a list, Sublime takes it a step further with its visual canvas approach. Just like Pinterest lets you organize pins into boards, Sublime lets you arrange or saved items into canvases. But unlike Pinterest's rigid grid layout, the canvases are much more flexible and useful in my opinion. Um, they work like digital whiteboards where you can freely position, resize, and uh, visually organize your saved content however you want. This spatial freedom makes it much easier to see connections between ideas or compare different items side by side. One of the coolest ways to use Canvas is visual brainstorming for essays or articles. When I'm working on a, a writing project, I just add a, a few cards to a Canvas, maybe a couple of quotes that sparked my interest or some key concepts that I want to explore. Then I use the related cards feature to find more ideas. It suggests additional inspiration from my library or from other users that relates to what I already have on the canvas. This often leads me to discover angles and connections I wouldn't have thought of on my own. Also, uh, let me share another example. Um, last month, I was researching which camera and accessories to buy. So instead of just having a list of products, I created a canvas in Sublime. I arranged them in a way that made sense to me, grouping similar models and positioning higher end options at the top of the canvas. Canvas. Then I added um, a sticky note with price comparisons and bullet points for the pros and cons of each item. I feel like this visual approach made it much easier to see which camera offered the best value for what I needed. The canvas can be useful for not just shopping decisions though. For creative projects, it's perfect for gathering visual reference and uh, organizing them by color, style, or theme. Now, let's talk about how Sublime compares to similar apps out there. I've tried quite a few apps in this space and each one has its own strengths and uh, ideal use cases. So uh, let's start with Pinterest because that's another one of my favorites. I've been a, a Pinterest user for years, especially since I work as a photographer during weekends. It's fantastic for finding visual inspiration and uh, creating mood boards before photo shoots. What makes it so useful is its massive user base and the sheer volume of content available. The discovery algorithm is also incredibly powerful for finding visual inspiration. But where Sublime really shines compared to Pinterest is it's in text handling. Pinterest is primarily visual, whereas Sublime excels at saving and organizing text snippets, quotes, and uh, passages. Pinterest also lacks the canvas functionality that I mentioned earlier. You're limited to a rigid grid layout, which doesn't give you the same freedom to arrange and connect ideas. Then there's also bookmark apps like uh, Raindrop and uh, Fabric. Fabric has been my go-to bookmark app for a long time, and I still use it daily for saving links and uh, anything I might want to come back to later. Um, it's more like my digital fighting cabinet, but Sublime doesn't feel like that. It's not meant to be a place for any random link that you might need later. I feel like it's specifically designed for curating inspirational content, ideas and the passages that spark your creativity, but I guess you could use it however you like. For me, I find myself using both apps, but for different purposes. Fabric for functional bookmarks like recipes, tutorials, or reference materials, and Sublime for creative inspiration and ideas. Maybe it's a little bit silly to use different apps, but I like it that way. Okay, so Sublime is a great app for I think anyone who regularly collects inspirations, ideas, or information they want to revisit later. If you're a writer looking to gather quotes and passages, a designer collecting visual inspiration, or a student compiling research materials, I think Sublime offers um, a powerful way to save and organize that information. Personally, I love how it strikes balance between organization and discovery. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please check out this video where I talk about my favorite apps for this year. So. Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.